Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out where my phone went. <laughs> uh, I got a question the other day. Brand new tick, you know, brand new welder. He's going to go out and buy a machine. What machine? You know, why should I get what machine? Uh, he's kind of interested in TIG, but he's doing a lot of farm work, too. So he said, you know, can I use my TIG outside? Can I use it on the farm? Can I use it to repair my, you know, repair the plow? Can I use it for stuff like that? And still be able to use it in the barn to, you know, work on my metal, you know, work on my little part pieces or, you know, fix something in the barn. No. <laughs> so you're actually pretty close on, on what you need for the kind of work that you want to do. Most of the TIG welders nowadays come with a stick welder, you know, an arc welder built in, or you know, to be correct, the you know, an SMAW, shielded metal arc welding, and that gives you the capability of being able to use this machine in both places. You can use it inside or outside. All you have to do is switch from one process to the other. So let's say you're you know you're out there working in your barn, you know you're working on. Uh, you know, some fittings to go on the wall. You're working on a, you know, a gate to, uh, you know, the, your, little, uh, your little pens there to keep your animals in. You, know, you want to make something fine for that. That's what the TIG welder is good at. You can use it inside. It's got the, uh, the shielding gas, so there's no flux to have to, that you have to chip off at the end of it. You know, it's nice and neat and clean, smokeless, if you're doing it right. Uh, working on aluminum, you know, making... Uh, making stuff for the house, if you will, you know, making trays, whatever. TIG welder, great for it. But when you get to the to the heavy stuff, you know, you want to go out in the yard, you want to fix the tractor, you want to fix the plow, you want to, you know, make a new bumper for your truck or whatever, then you're going to be using big heavy plate. You know? This is all quarter inch. I'd grab the stick welder for this, even if I was working inside simply because the TIG welder will do a very nice job here, but you really got to crank up the heat, and there's a whole lot of sitting here feeding metal to it. Where the stick welder, you just come along, light it up, run a bead, and you're all done. You know, chip off the slag, maybe touch it with a grinder just a little, smooth it off, and it's quick, it's easy, but it's sparky, it's smoky, and it's messy. So normally, outside with this. Out in the wind, the wind does not bother this at all. The wind will bother the TIG welder with the shielding gas because it'll blow the gas away and then you get a bad weld. So that TIG welder is really, uh, it, it's a great combination. You know, you, you've got the, the high end, the, the neat, the clean, you know, as long as you have the correct kind of filler rod for the TIG, the correct kind of gas, normally you use argon, Sometimes you use it, you know, use a different gas depending on, on what you're working on. You've got neat, clean, precise on, on that end of the scale. You get different diameters of filler rod, you know, or, or sticks for the for your arc welder. Different types of metal for different kinds of metal that you're welding, and that gives you the low end. You know, it gives you the quick and dirty. The, the outdoors, you know, heck, they even use this stuff under water. I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> so, I hope that answers your question. Look around down there and find that subscribe button if you want, and push that subscribe button so you know when my next video comes out. And if you get the chance, pop out to my website, sign up for my newsletter.